Bop, bada, bop. What's good, we're guys? Matt McCoy, country song teacher here. Hope you're doing well. Got a big announcement. I've, if you've been following me on social media, you know this already. This Tuesday, September 5th, is the release of my George Strait favorite song book. This is on there. And it's going to be an amazing book, 20 songs. And in light of that, I'm going to do a live Tuesday at 7. If, if you're unfamiliar with my channel, when I release a new song book, a new product, I do it live question and answer kind of jam session of all the new books so this tuesday mark your calendars september 5th 2023 I'm gonna be doing a live little jam session of my new george Drake favorite songbook this is an old school throwback jam capable of the first rep what do you when i see a c it's gonna be a c at nine like on the two bottom strings fifth and six so c to g sing a song about the heartland only place I feel at home. So D is third, bottom, second. Home. Like this, when I say C, C at nine. Sing about the way a good friend works until the daylight's gone. So when I say an A chord, I ring finger on the second string, I press the two, two middle strings. So that's how I do my A chord. I keep that ring finger on the second string, press two middle strings. Show the bottom five. When I say E minor, I do the same thing except. I press the fifth and fourth. So you can use two fingers, whatever. Let me play through this chorus, and then we'll uh, break it down. Sing a song about the heartland, only place I feel at home. Sing about the way good rain works until the daylight's gone. Sing a rain on the roof, the summer night, still no wrong from the right. Sing a song about the heartland. What you see me do too on this D chord often. So a regular D chord is third, bottom, and second. I'm just strum down. <coughs> I'll take my middle finger on and off that bottom string. It's called gives what's called musical dimension. So it's in and out. When you hear So I did, I stayed on that D, then went G, A, then back to G. And I'll play music on Saturday night. So I did G, D, G. Brings a D. Smile to your face and a G. T to your eye. So one of the things I, I try to stress this often in my other videos, when you're doing those chord transitions, it's super key to know what fingers you should be moving at what time and what fingers you should keep playing at. Almost this entire song, you'll see, I have that guitar stabilized by pressing that second string of the second fret. So, I mean, I'm at the third fret. This would be first fret, second. So, of the third fret relative to the capo. So, capo, first fret, one, two, three. I keep that second string pressed. And then, I see, I go G, C, E minor, A, D. See how that's not moving? That's stabilizing guitar. The only chord I move really for is a B minor. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, if you can do that, that bar chord B minor, great. What you see me often do is play an A minor, slid up two frets, and show the bottom four. So I go A minor, and then I slide to the A5, just two middle strings. A minor. So what? Sing a song about the hard E minor. Hey, sing a song about my life. And so forth. So, let me play through it, and I'll tell you the chords. Uh, start with the D. Here, on this strumming, remember guys, strumming is all about timing. If Especially songs like this, if you start trying to think of strumming patterns, and down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, it's going to mess you up. So, when you hear twin fiddles and steel guitar, listen to the sound of the American heart. I'm just doing down strums. That's how you get that timing and the rhythm down. I'll play music on Saturday night with a smile to your face, tear to your eyes. Sing a song about the hard only place I feel at home. Sing about the way good man works until the daylight's gone. Sing a song about my 
So see, I built that slowly. You saw me adding the up strums. But if you're a beginner and you're just learning guitar, keep it simple. The old kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay, maybe not stupid. Just kiss. Uh, you're just slowly. When you hear twin fiddles and steel guitar. That's what I would tell people to do. Just do a slow, kind of quietly playing the down strums, and you're going to slowly get better and better. Listen to the sound of the American heart. A free music on Saturday night Be a smile to your face Tear to your eye Bring a song about the heart And the only place I feel at home and then, <coughs> Excuse me. Where's my hot tea? I've been slowly sipping hot tea Every day getting Had my first workout today I've been off a week I'm slowly getting rid of this cough Ever since I was like a Senior in high school, and I get a cough, I keep it forever. So, uh, so yeah, guys, keep it. After you, once you start hearing that time, then you kind of cut some of the strums and let it out. You can let it, let it out, but always, always. When you're starting out the songs, just do those down strums. I hope this helps you guys. If you struggle with strumming, don't forget, I have an ultimate strumming course. I think it's 20, 20 24 bucks. Uh, it's 90 minutes. It goes over all kinds of strumming tips. Because I've found when I used to teach people in person, that that's what people struggle with most is strumming. So be sure to check that out if you struggle with strumming. I got, like I said, Morgan Wallen favorites, Luke Combs favorites, and at, really soon about that, George Drake favorites. I'm going to do a Kenny Chesney favorites next, then Jason Aldean favorites. I got a lot of stuff coming, so be sure to check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. I love you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Smash the like button. I'll catch you tomorrow. Sound terrible. Cut that out.